Hey guys, Peace and I were having a discussion this morning at church uh, where we were talking about a piece of software that he's planning to write. And specifically, we were talking about how should that program interact with the da database. So I've been meaning to create a couple of these um, uh, quick tutorial videos and stick them on YouTube. So this is now my first, my first attempt. So let's see how it goes. Um, so Active Record is a design pattern that I've used a lot and I find it a really convenient way of interacting with the database. So let me just take you guys through it. I'm hopefully I'm aiming to keep it to about 12 minutes. So first of all, I'm going to talk about what is the problem that we're trying to solve. Um, then we're just going to define Active Record very briefly. Then we'll do a, an example using PHP and finally where to go to get more information. So what's the problem we're trying to solve? When Peace and I were um, discussing the software this morning, he was showing me a design of the software that he'd created, and basically it was an entity relationship diagram, like what you see on the left here. So this kind of um, entity relationship diagram or domain model um, is a really good way of doing software design, I find. Um, it's something that you can talk to technical and non-technical people uh, with, and it's something that they can that both technical and non-technical people can understand. Um, so what I normally do is um, I'll do um, a, a domain model like this, just using um, basically uh, boxes with um, uh, sort of entities or concepts or objects um, that are relevant to, to the problem we're trying to solve um, and lines indicating the relationships between them. And then normally what I'll do is I'll have a few slides um, which which talk about which give a, which actually define each of these things, so that people know you know I'll have one slide that actually defines what is a user, and another slide which defines what is a task list, and another slide which defines what is a task. That's normally how I'll go about doing my um, software design. But once you've got your software design done and you know what your system uh, has to do, you then need to decide how to do it, and of course. Um, this uh, this design is going to end up in a database okay so this data is going to be stored in a database you of course you're going to want to work with this data in code um, and process the data and create user interfaces for the data um, so how how should your code interact with the database what's the best way to do that um, so that's where active record is one solution to this problem and it's, I've found it a very good one Basically, what Active Record does is it hides the complexity of, of the database um, and it allows you to work with your data in a convenient object oriented way. So, it takes all of the um, code that, is, uh, that you would write to work with the database, all of the SQL code um, that, you would, um, that you would have to write in order to work with the database, and it puts all of that code in one place. And it, it creates a, a really easy to use, a convenient um, interface for the rest of your program to work with this code. So, um, you know, whatever uh, programming language you happen to use, um, if you can just think what is the most convenient way for you to work with data, maybe you, the most convenient way is for you to work with objects or to work with arrays or, um, you know, to set properties on objects and to call methods on objects. That, if that's the most convenient way for you to work with your data, then that's the kind of interface that you want your uh, Active Record um, class to provide to the rest of your program. So that the rest of your program doesn't have to worry about faffing around with um, SQL, SQL statements and with um, joining tables and all that kind of stuff. Right, so Let's have a look at, at an example. So if we take this, this, um, this basic design here, okay, we've got a task list, and a task list contains tasks. Um, <clears throat> right, so here I've got a, uh, a basic example, okay? So um, I've got a task class, which I've defined, um, okay, in PHP. And this task class contains the three properties that a task has. So a task has an ID, it has a name, and it has a status, right? 
So the, the name is the actual task, like make coffee or sand cupboards or paint cupboards or varnish cupboards, right? And the status is the status of the task, like to do or done, right? And the task has an ID, okay, which would be, would be the ID of the task in the database. Right, so this is now your, your class that you'll, you'll uh, use in your PHP application. And as functions of this um, class, as um, I've added um, functions to allow you to work with the database, right? So um, I've got a function here to get a task out of the da database, right? Um, what, I'm, what I'm doing here is I haven't actually coded the database code. I was too lazy to do that. All I've done is, is with a comment here, I'll just show you what this should be doing, right? And I'm just returning, I'm just returning an object so that we can actually, so this class is actually usable, okay? But here in, in the comments, this is what it should be doing, okay? So I've got a, a function to get a task out of the database, and that'll do this. I've got a function to save the task out of the database, save the task in the database, okay? To create that, to save a new task, to update the task, okay, to delete the task, right? I've got a function to allow me to list all the tasks in the database, select star for the tasks. Um, I've also added a couple of parameters here just to, to allow you to page through, through the data because, of course, a user interface is going to want to. Um, Go through this data in, in pages. It's not going to want to just display everything. Um, to be honest with you, since this is a task list application and the tasks task list probably doesn't have that many tasks, I think we can probably ditch this paging stuff. Make it a bit simpler. Okay. <clears throat> right, so we've got a function to allow you to list the data select start from tasks. And then we've got a um, couple of functions to allow you to, um, uh, to query the data, okay? So find all by status. So this allows me to get all tasks with a particular status. Find by name. This allows me to get a task from the database um, by name, all right? And notice that I've used the naming convention here, find all. We'll do a select star where it's going to return an array and find, if it's just find by name, then it's going to be returning just a single task. Okay, so the assumption here is this name field is a unique, um, name is a unique field. Okay, um, which is probably doesn't really make sense for a task list, but anyway. Um, right, and then for the task uh, list, We've basically got the same, the same thing, okay? A task list has got an ID, task list has got a name, a created date, and it's got a, an array of tasks. And what we've got is we've got the get, save, update, delete, list, find all by created date greater than, and uh, I think we can also just remove this paging stuff from here. And find by name, okay? Um, so the one thing that um, I would uh, add onto here is functions for adding and removing tasks, but we can do that in a second. So I wanna keep to my 12 minutes maximum and we've just hit nine. So let me show you how um, Active Record makes this, this data really quite convenient to work with, okay? So if I fire up PHP um, and I load my task um, class, okay, require once task.php, okay, now Let's say I want to get a task out of the database, read a task out of the database, okay? Uh, with Active Record, it becomes, uh, you do that like this. So task equals task get, and the ID 
of the task that you're interested in. Okay. Right, and there you go. There's your object. Okay. Now I'll say I want to update this object. Let's set the status to done. Okay. The status is now set to done. And I want to save this. Okay, in the database, I would go. There you go. Okay. And that's how I would save it in the database. I think you know this is slightly unrealistic because with the with real code you would have to put in some error handling. Okay, the, the you you may well find that the, that you get an error when you try and save this to the database. Maybe the connection has dropped or something like that. So there'll be a little bit of error handling code that you'll have to put in to a real a real um, real code. Okay, and if I want to create a new task. Wonder if I can do clear with this? Um, no. No. Okay. If I want to create a new task, I go new task equals new task. <coughs> I put in my task. W what is my task? Um, feed the dog. Okay. Oops. Okay. All right. Now I have this um, new task object. It's not yet saved to the database. And the way that I know that it's not yet saved to the database is it doesn't have an ID. Okay. And now I save it. And if I have a look at my new task, it now has, it's been saved to the database and it's got an ID. Okay, and then finally, um, you can imagine how delete would work, all right? Finally, um, just to show you how um, listing and querying the data would work, it's uh, simply, um, Okay, there you go. That's just doing a select star on the tasks table. And if I want to query by name or query by status, find all by status, final by status. Oops. Oops, what's happening there? Find all by status, status. Okay. And there you have just the, the tasks that are status to do. Okay, so that's that just gives you an idea of how of using Active Record makes it makes working with the data really convenient. It's a nice object-oriented way of working with the, the data. Um, I didn't go into these static keywords, so if you're not entirely familiar with what static is, you just need to jump onto the, um, the PHP documentation and have a read about static. Uh, so that's a keyword and just to point you to um, more information um, this is a great book R really really uh, recommend it feel free to uh, to ask me if you want to borrow it I'll lend it to you but you have to give it back because I use it all the time um, and that's um, patterns of enterprise application architecture and also um, this is um, the 
Grail's um, uh, implementation of Active Record, um, and this is a this is I found this to be a really good implementation. I've really uh, enjoyed using um, Grail's Active Record implementation. So this is the documentation. If you open it up, um, you'll see um, uh, this is this is a very complete kind of implementation of Active Record. Um, that you can that you can have a look through and play with. Um, okay, hopefully that was helpful.